Hey, welcome to your new Bold Upsell app. This video is going to show you how to create upsells, cross-sells, upsells and cross-sells after checkout, and funnels before and after checkout as well. Upsells and cross-sells are the easiest way to increase the average order value on your store. This video is going to show you how to do it and you can have upsells and cross-sells running today. Before I jump into the admin to show you how to set one up, let me show you what it looks like on the front end first. This is an example of a product that has upsells and cross-sells and a funnel and cross-sells after checkout. I'm going to go ahead and add this product to my cart. And you notice the first thing I'm presented with is a upsell offer. It's asking me if I want to upgrade from the product I added to this premium version for only $50 more. Well, of course I'm going to upgrade. It's only $50 more. A couple things about this. You can control if you want this to say the actual dollar amount of the new product or just the the difference we find showing just the difference converts a lot better. So let's go ahead and get upsold. Now I'm presented with a cross sell. A cross sell is when a product is added to your existing order. So this isn't going to replace any product. It's going to add to my existing order. So let's go ahead and get cross sold. And finally, let's get cross sold again. You notice three offers just showed in this or three products just got offered in this upsell. This is a funnel. A funnel is where multiple products get offered and different ones can be offered depending on if you accept or decline a certain offer. So I accepted, so I was shown certain ones. If I would have declined, I would have seen different ones as well too. Now let's go ahead and check out. So I'm on the checkout page. The checkout button is also another trigger location. If I go ahead and click checkout, I am presented with another upsell offer. Here there's two products in the window. This one isn't a funnel. As soon as I add something, it's going to take me away from the page. Uh, a couple things. Uh, this product, I can adjust quantity. This product, I can't adjust quantity. So you can decide if you want to let them be able to uh, set quantities or not. Uh, and I can only add one of these products. You'll notice as soon as I click add to cart with the filters, boom, I'm gone and I'm onto the checkout. You can also make it so they can add both products if you want. All of that's adjustable in the back end. Well, let's go ahead and check out. Uh, this demo store is using Bold Cashier. And what's amazing about that, well, there's lots of amazing things. Uh, the first amazing thing is everything is stored, credit cards are stored. I can actually check out with, boom, one click. But what's amazing related to upsells is it does upsells after checkout. So now my order is placed. If I walk away, this order will generate as is. I don't need to do anything else right now. But if I click add to order in the next four minutes and 45 seconds, this product will add to this order I just placed with no need to enter credit card, no need to enter address, anything else. It gets added to this existing order. Let's go ahead and add this mug too. Why not? You'll notice this is also a funnel after checkout. Coffee bean ice tray. Why not? So I started with a basic coffee maker. I got upsold to a premium one, cross sold beans, cups, filters, checked out and then cross sold even more. An order that should have been $150 ended up being 338. And that's the beauty of upsells. Okay. Let me show you how we did that in our store. I'm going to jump into the back end of the store. If you just installed the app, your app will look a little bit different. You won't have stats and data here yet, but once you start having upsells offered, you'll start to see which ones are converting the best, which ones are shown the most, uh, which ones have generated the most revenue. It's really cool to see. It's almost addictive coming in and tweaking and modifying these to make more. Uh, what I want to show you now is just how to create an offer. So we're going to head over to the offers and you can go to current offers or create an offer. If you go to current offers, this will take you uh, where all your existing offers are. And just one thing I want to highlight here, any existing offer you can turn on and you can turn off with a click. You can schedule them, you can edit them, you can duplicate them, you can view reports for them. This is kind of where you see all your upsells and you can work with them. If I want to create a new offer, I'm just going to click create new offer. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I created that upsell on that original product I just showed you. So the first thing you're going to do is just give it a name. Uh, the only thing I suggest is doing it some type of a descriptive name that if later on you have hundreds of offers, you can scroll through and know which one's which. Uh, then you're going to simply select a trigger. There's three trigger locations. You can trigger it on the add to cart click, on the checkout click, or after checkout. You just saw all three of those. Uh, so you can choose wherever you want to show it. Let's do it on the add to cart click for now. 
if I'm doing it on the add to cart click, I have the options for a cross sell or an upsell because the upsell is going to replace it. If I do it on the checkout, you'll notice there's no options for upsell or cross sell. Uh, at that point, you're going into the checkout, so there's no longer a chance to upsell. An upsell replaces a product. But if I do it on the add to cart for that specific product, I can upsell. And again, on checkout, you might have 10 things in the cart. So you can't upsell all 10 items in the window, but when you're on the specific product, you can upsell that one specific thing. So an upsell will replace, a cross sell adds to. Uh, okay, so let's leave it at that. And then let's go ahead and say, what products do I want to trigger this? You can select one or a hundred. It can be a product type. Maybe I wanna do all product type equals coffee. I would just hit search. And if I wanted to do that, I would just say select all results. If I reset it, I could select the whole store. You can do whatever you want. Let's just pick a couple random ones. So if anyone buys any of these products, that would trigger this offer. Now this store has funnels enabled, which is an amazing feature. So let's. So the first thing I just did there was I created my trigger. Now I'm gonna create an offer. So an offer is simple, but what you're offering the customer. Uh, so you wanna give it a call to action. Don't miss this and give it a description. Hey, this goes well with whatever you're buying. I think that's kind of self-explanatory, so I won't dive into that. And then you select what products you wanna offer. You can select as many products as you want. Um, we usually recommend between one to three. We notice a lot of times people like to say, oh, I wanna offer everything, all these 40 products. Conversion rate actually goes down a lot the more you offer. Um, if you add a lot of products, it puts them in a carousel. The most it ever shows is three at a time. Add whatever you want. Let's offer this coffee topping, let's just say. And then there's a couple options here. Do you wanna let the customer add more than one of the products you offer? And remember when we checked out, we could add more of those coffee filters if, if we wanted. Uh, and you wanna let them, oh sorry, add more than one is, do I want them to, within one window, add the coffee filters and another product or just one? Uh, that offer you saw that had the coffee filters and the gift wrapping, as soon as I clicked add coffee filters, it jumped to checkout. So that was not on for that offer. If I did have that on, I would be able to add one and then add another. If I wanna limit the number of quantities, so maybe they can add six of something, but no more, I would set that like that. And if you're not using funnels, you're done. You just created your trigger and your offer. And then there would be a few more settings down here. Like, do you wanna make a date range or a cart value? But if you do wanna add a funnel, it's exactly the same way you just created your initial offer here. Uh, you're gonna click on what if someone declines the offer? If they decline it, what do you wanna offer them? You go through the exact same process, give the title, a call to action. And then what if they accept that first offer? Do you wanna offer them another one? And once you create this declined offer and this accepted offer, you get a chance to create a third one. Uh, funnels can have up to three offers in them. So really funnels are super easy to do. It's just like creating a bunch of offers, uh, which ones are shown when the offer is declined and which one's shown when it's accepted. That's it. And then if you need a date range, uh, maybe it's for like Black Friday or for a holiday, just so you don't have to remember to start and stop it, you can do that right here and it will automatically start and stop. But again, you can always manually start and stop any upsell anytime you want. If you want the offer to only show if the customer has a certain amount in their cart, you simply set that here. So maybe you only want it to show if they have a hundred to a thousand dollars in their cart, let's just say. And then you have a different offer over a thousand. And then lastly, just a couple options. Do you wanna make the product image link to the product page? So this just means when the offer comes up, if they clicked on the image or the title, should it take them to the product page? Uh, sometimes you might have a product that has a lot of details and you want to make that easy. So then go ahead and turn that on. But sometimes it's a super simple product. You don't want them to go to the product page because that might take them away from the offer. You don't want anything cl clickable on the offer. You want them just to be able to click on the accept or decline. Then you would leave that off. So, and again, just remember you can have all of your options in the offer. So if they need to select something, they can do that right in the offer. There's no reason they ever need to go to the product page. It's only if there's a lot of details about that product that you think they can't make a buying decision. Uh, and then if you wanna hide products that are out of stock to not allow offers to show if products out of, out, of, out of stock, you turn that on. The reason why this is an option, you might think that that should be on by default all the time, 
but sometimes you promote an offer and it's there's a big banner on your website but then you maybe you're out of stock and then someone clicks add to cart but the offer doesn't come up and maybe they think it's broken and so if it's a product that you have that's constantly replenishing itself you maybe want to just leave that uh, off so that um, it still shows all the time because you know products are going to be coming back in so and then once you're done you save it and that's it so I didn't actually enter all the details in there but I would have a I would have an offer here ready to go and it would look like this and I can either let it start automatically if there is a date or I can just manually turn it on. If at any point I want to see what is the trigger, I can view it here. I can see when it's going to start and stop uh, and I can see what products are being offered and I can edit it by clicking actions. There's a lot of different things I can do here. That's it for creating your first offer. If you have questions, of course, you can email us. We're happy to help. You can check out our support form. There's a few more videos coming up on how to use Brain Insights for automatic smart upsells. We're going to dive into reports, some settings, and a few other things. So make sure you watch the rest of our videos if you're interested. But go ahead and create an upsell offer right now. It's easy to do. And uh, we hope you start making more money. Thanks for watching.